Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with good old-fashioned pancakes. That's right, anybody can add water to a box mix, but you're better than that. Or at least, I assume you're better than that. So let me show you how to make your own classic American diner-style old-fashioned pancakes. So easy. And here we go. So step one here, we're going to sift our dry ingredients, which is flour. Just regular all-purpose flour. We're going to add some baking powder, not soda, baking powder, some salt, and some sugar. And then we're going to sift that. Now, you know I'm not big on sifting. If I've said it once, I've said it a hundred times. There's no money in sifting, okay? But here, kind of important. So I want you to sift it this time. Once it's all sifted, we are going to add melted butter, an egg, and some milk. Now one tip here, I want you to be standing there with your whisk ready to go. As soon as you add those wet ingredients, I want you to mix this quickly, okay? So I pop that egg yolk, and then I whisk vigorously until it's combined. Now why I want you to have the whisk ready as soon as you add the wet ingredients is because if you add that butter and the egg and the cold milk and then go look for the whisk and come back five minutes later, that cold milk will have solidified that butter and it just won't mix in as well. So make sure you have all your stuff handy. And like I said, you're just going to whisk that until it comes together. It should look like that. Looks like pancake batter. All right, I'm going to let that sit for five minutes to give that baking powder a little chance to sort of start doing its chemical reaction thing. And then you know the rest. It's the same as if you use that package mix. I'm going to preheat a nice big skillet on medium high. I'm going to give it a little light spraying with vegetable oil. And then I use a quarter cup measuring scoop to make my pancakes. All right, I like the little ones. You can make giant big ones, I guess. But I like kind of three smaller ones for a serving. And then the classic question, how do I know when to turn it? Well, you've heard the expression, being able to read body language. Here, you have to be able to read bubble language. That's right. The bubbles will tell you. First, you're going to see bubbles around the outside. Then you're going to see bubbles come up through the middle. When the bubbles come up through the middle, turn your pancake. It works every time. So depending on your flame, depending on your pan, medium to medium high heat should be perfect. Once you flip them, the other side goes a little quicker. So if the first side took two, three minutes, maybe the second side takes a minute to two minutes. But you'll know. You know when pancakes are cooked. We're all born with that ability. It's in our DNA. All right, I'm going to transfer those to a warm plate. Nothing says I don't really love you that much, like serving food on ice cold plates. So don't do that, especially for breakfast. I'm going to spread a little bit of butter on top, you know, optional, but by optional I mean, please do it. It's not pancakes unless you get a little melted butter on there. And then, cue gratuitous maple syrup scene. Sorry, I can't find my sexy music sound clip, but anyway, you can hum that part to yourself. And there we go. Good old-fashioned pancakes. How amazingly simple. This is the classic recipe. Not too thick, not too thin tender, delicious, just amazing. So I really hope you give these a try. This was a very popular food wish. All the ingredients are on foodwishes.com as usual. And as always, enjoy.